Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Today we are going to discuss creative questions of first online class assessment 2021. And these creative questions are from chapter 1 and chapter 4 and chapter 5. So successively we will discuss here 5 creative questions with answer. So let's review. This is the first question. Uh, first question. Uh, basically, this question from exercise 1.1.5, this question based on 1.5. Mr. Jamal went Kumilla from Dhaka. He traveled 13 by 20 parts by bus, 7 by 25 parts by CNG, 1 by 20 parts by rickshaw, and remaining 2 kilometers on foot. It takes an average 2 minutes of CNG and 6 minutes by rickshaw to travel each kilometer. So there are three total informations, a few distance given in portion and another distance given in kilometer and the time is also given the average time for CNG 2 minutes to travel each kilometer, 6 minutes to uh, need to travel each kilometer by rickshaw. So the first question uh, express the above uh, proper fraction in descending order. So there are 13 by 20 and 7 by 25 and this is uh, 1 by 20. There are three fractions. Now we will uh, convert them as a descending order. So now uh, let's see how to find the descending order. The first question. Okay. In terms of descending order, first step uh, we have to find the LCM of all denominator parts. So their LCM is 20, 25, 20, and their total LCM, LCM is 100. So uh, now when we will find the LCM, the first step, uh, 13 by 20, first fraction, second fraction, 7 by 25, and third fraction, 1 by 20. So first step, LCM divided by denominator. LCM divided by denominator result is 5. Now 5 multiply with numerator and denominator. Similarly, LCM divided by 25. LCM divided by 25 result is 4. Now 4 multiply both numerator and denominator. Successively 1 by 20 will be 5 by 20. Now see here, there is a 20, 100 and 100. This denominator in the three fractions are same. When the denominators are same, the fractions completely dependent on numerator. Is it uh, ascending order or descending order? When the denominators are same, the numerator in ascending order, total result will be ascending order. If we write a uh, numerator in descending order, the answer will be in descending order. So first, as according to our requirement, when the denominator are same, so write here the numerator in descending order and then add here the fractions. Uh, 65 by 100, 28 by 100, and now 65 by 100 came from 13 by 20, and 28 by 100 came from 7, 7 by 25. So writing here, according to question requirement, this is our answer. So now, dear students, uh, come back to the question. What is the second question? Find the distance between Dhaka to Kumila traveled by Mr. Jamal. Another most important question. So now, uh, first there are three fractions are given here, by bus, by CNG, by, so first we will find the total of given three fractions. Okay, this is question number B, we see here, total travel distance, total uh, that travel by bus, by CNG, by rickshaw doing the add, taking their LCM and the doing the simplification, you will get a 98 by 100. So now we know uh, one is whole or whole portion. That means one divided by, uh, sorry, minus. This is the total travel by rickshaw CNG and bus is 98 by 100. Remaining is 2 by 100, dividing by 2, 1 by 50. According to question, this remaining 2 kilometer, that means remaining 1 by 50 part, Travel uh, uh, that is the two kilometer compared with two kilometers. So one by fifty part is two kilometer. One or whole part that is the multiply with fifty hundred kilometer. 
So Dhaka to Kumila distance is 100 kilometers. So it's almost this math related with the real distance. Dhaka to Kumila distance is 100.2 kilometers. So dear students, now attention to the question number three. Let's review here the third question. What is the total time? What is the total time? Did Mr. Jamal travel by CNG and by rickshaw? That means the time of CNG and time of rickshaw, the distance how long he traveled by CNG and by rickshaw. That is the total. Uh, but condition is given here. To travel each kilometer by CNG need two minutes. To travel each kilometer by rickshaw need six minutes. So now come back to the answer here. Question number C. Question number C. Okay. He traveled by CNG 7 by 25, uh, 25 parts. That is of 100 uh, during the calculation 28 kilometer to travel. Uh, this is the travel to travel uh, one kilometer by CNG needs two minutes according to question. So to travel 28 kilometer needs 56 minutes. Similarly, he traveled by rickshaw one by 20 part of 100 kilometer. That is five kilometer uh, according to question. Uh, one kilometer time requires six minutes by Risha. So six kilometer time is 30 minutes. Now total time for CNG 56, for Risha 30 minutes and total time 86 minutes. So if we convert 86 minutes into hours, that is the 60 plus 26. Now that is one time of 60 minutes for one hour, that 26 minutes. So the answer is one hour 26. Uh, this one will be 1 hour 26 minutes. 1 hour 26 minutes. And this is answer. So now the first question complete. Now give attention to the second question. Uh, second question. Uh, I think there is no. Oh yes, this is the second question. Uh, this question from uh, exercise 1.5 uh, completely dependent on the base of HCF and LCM of fraction. So there are one, two, three, four, five fractions here. Uh, one, two, three, four fractions. And divide the first fraction by second fraction. This is the dividend and this is the divisor. And so this is a statement prove that multiplication of first and fourth fractions is equal to the product of their HCF and LCM. Find the greatest and smallest number of four digits, which is divisible by the denominators of ever fraction. So we have to find the four digit greatest number which should be divided by 20, by 2, by 15 and by 12. So this con this is from exercise 1.3, this question from exercise 1.5 and this is also from 1.5. So now uh, attention, uh, give attention to the according to question, the first question, uh, this one and the second question, this one. Divide the first fraction by second fraction. So divide, convert it into multiply. This one will be inverted into numerator will be denominator and denominator will be numerator when we convert this divide into multiply. So now doing the simply simple calculation, we will get here result 37 by 100. Uh, this is the result of question A. Now question B. Prove that the multiplication of first and fourth fraction is equal to the product of their HCF and LCM. So this is the statement, uh, not only for the fractions, but also any number. The multiplication of two numbers is the result of the multiplication of their HCF and LCM. This formula is true for fractions, proper, improper, or numerical any number. So according to question first fractions and the fourth fractions, multiplication of two fractions, this one, and this is the result of multiplication. Now we will find their SCF, then we will find their LCF. In times of LCM, SCF of the numerator, which is 1, LCM of the denominator, which is 60. So now find their LCM. In times of LCM, LCM of the numerator, SCF of the denominator. So LCM means there is no common divisor. That's why multiply two numbers. And the SCF is common four. So now uh, second step. Second step, multiplication of HCF and LCM is 1 by 60 multiply their LCM. But the, get this is the result which is the same with the multiplication of two fractions. That means finally we can say here 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ एनी टू नंबर और एनी टू फ्रैक्शन इज द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ देयर एस सी एफ एंड एल सी एम सो नाउ राइट द स्टेटमेंट हेयर दिस इज द रिक्वायरमेंट फूड नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एनदर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हेयर find the greatest and smallest number of four digit the first condition number should be four digit second condition the number should be divisible by the denominator that is 20 2 15 to we have to choose the number of four digit which is divisible at a time by 20 by 2 by 15 by 12 so now attention to the third question first is to find the denominators of all lcm because we know when any number is divided by the by their lcm so the number must be divisible by the numbers so lcm is 60 first condition the greatest number of four digit 9999 so there is remainder doing the uh, divide the remainder is 39 in times of greatest number remainder will be subtracted So here remainder is thirty nine. So the greatest number or large number will be nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine minus thirty nine. That is nine thousand nine hundred sixty. This is answer of greatest number. Now the four digit is smallest number. The smallest number of four digit is one thousand. Also divided by their LCM of the denominator. Here remainder is forty. Uh, there is a difference in between finding greatest number and smallest number in times of greatest number we subtract only remainder but in times of smallest number we have to find the difference difference of divisor and remainder so what is the difference of divisor and remainder this is the 20 20 is the difference of divisor and remainder so 20 will be added in times of greatest number the remainder will be subtracted because if we add any number with the greatest number of four digit the number will no more four digit it will convert it as fifth digit or sixth digit so if we subtract any single number from the smallest number of four digit it will it will no any more in the four digit so that's why we have to add the difference of divisor and remainder So the smallest number is one hundred one thousand twenty, and the greatest number is nine thousand nine hundred sixty. These two numbers completely divisible at a time by twenty, by two, uh, by twenty, by two, and by fifteen, by twelve. So the greatest number and the smallest number, which is divisible by this all number, is answer this one. so now dear students give attention to the next question this question from algebraic side from chapter 4 uh, this is addition 4.3 this is also addition and subtraction 4.3 uh, this is from the 4.1 so this questions from 4.1 numerical value and these two questions from 4.3 addition and simplification related uh, determine the sum of the numerical coefficient of z Numerical coefficient means uh, there is a square. Its numerical coefficient is invisible one. There is a b. Numerical coefficient is minus two. There is b square. Numerical coefficient is one. So now according to question uh, a one minus two plus one and adding numerical coefficient of z plus minus minus two one. So one one two and two minus two equal to zero. First question answer a equal to zero. Second question: uh, Find z y plus z and y minus z. So write here the value of y, value of z according to question y plus z. Do simply add plus two y minus two y eliminate. Twice a square twice uh, twice b square. One uh, a square plus one a square two a square one b square plus one b square two b square taking two is common. You can write here two a square plus b square. Also, you can give here answer no problem. If we take To communist may be different answer, but both line you can take the answer. Now second part, uh, y minus z. So write here the value of y, value of z, y minus z. That means you have to do subtract. In times of subtract, this operation sign will be changed of the denominator side. Uh, minus will be plus, plus will be minus, plus will be minus, minus will be plus. 
So now y minus z a square minus uh, a plus a square minus a square plus b square minus b square plus twice a b. Mm, this minus twice a b converted as plus twice b. So this is the four a b. Finally, we can say their addition answer is this one. Subtraction answer is this one. Now attention to the third question, question number c. What is the given here? Question number c. The value of L, value of M, value of N are given. Find the L minus M plus N. Okay. Uh, write here the L, M, N according to quotient. Value of L minus value of N minus value of N. So here uh, multiply all terms by minus. Multiply all terms by plus. So if we multiply with minus, there is no answer change. In, uh, sorry, if we multiply with plus, there is no answer change inside the bracket. There is also same. But if we multiply with minus, this minus will be plus. This minus will be plus. This minus will be plus. And this is invisible plus. And now plus is now minus. So dear students, uh, I think now we can write here. The next uh, p uh, plus p minus p can eliminate uh, that or we can write that uh, this is the p is plus there is p is plus so twice p minus 1 p 1 q 2 q 3 q r plus r twice r minus 1 r. so doing the calculation the left side value and right side value both are according to quotient requirement so left hand side equals to right hand side okay let's give you a question again uh, the answer will be p plus c q plus r now uh, next question question number four question number four uh, this is also uh, from exercise 4.3 this is simplification related with the addition this is also simplification related with the addition. This is from the 4.1 only related with the coefficient. So, uh, dear students, uh, what is the coefficient of x, y? Technical question. Uh, summation of the given expression. That means you have to add this three expression, then find the coefficient of x, y. This is one method. Another method, uh, directly you can add the terms of x y terms of x y from three expressions so any method you can apply first method you can add three expression then find the coefficient of x y or directly you can add only the x y part of the x y so dear students uh, first expression second expression third expression given here according to question first we done uh, find here the summation of the three expressions. Now what we see? The coefficient of x, y is 3. That is, this is our answer. Coefficient of x, y is 3. Or adding the numerical coefficient of x, y from the three given expression, just add the numerical coefficient like uh, there is invisible 1, so there is 1, there is minus 8, there is minus 8, and there is plus 10. This is the numerical coefficient. So 10 plus 1, 11, minus 8. So this is a 3. So you can also apply this method, 3, only taking the numerical coefficient. So this method is also done here, alternate method. Now, second question. Uh, first expression minus second expression minus third expression. Very easy question. Just put the value of first expression, second expression, and third expression. Uh, first expression, second expression, third expression. Uh, there is invisible plus. There is minus and there is also minus. So multiply this is plus minus a minus plus minus a uh, minus a minus a plus. This is plus minus a minus and this is minus minus a plus and there is plus minus minus. So now do a simple calculation here. How uh, x is 5 x square plus x square, six square, minus one x square, there is five x square, uh, x y plus x y, uh, plus eight x y, total nine x y, the minus is ten x y, so remaining here minus one x y, or invisible one x y, or one. That's three y square minus y square, there is two y square, so this is our first part answer. Uh, 
there are two part in this question uh, let's give you a question again uh, first uh, first simplify so this is the answer and and means second part find the value of the simplification when the x is 3 y is 2 so now you have to find the value of your result applying here x equal to 3 and y equal to 2 this is the second part question mark is 2 and first part question is mark is 2 so 2 plus 2 will be 4 now your result here your this is your simplification result so in simplification result put the value of x equal to 3 and y equal to 2 and 3 square 9 the multiply 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 doing the simple calculation answer is 41 so this is answer question number b now next question question number c value of a square is given value of b square is given value of c square is given you just uh, show that a square plus b square will be x square plus y square plus z square so it's very easy question just add uh, plus x square minus x square eliminate there is remaining x square plus y square minus y square there is remaining y square plus z square minus z square that remaining z square so x square b square b square c square total sum result will be x square plus y square plus z square now the last question very easy question question number five already you have uh, learned this question of the you have done this question in the last assessment test the same question the condition is given here in a rectangular garden uh, length is 10 meter more than breadth so if breadth is x the length will be 10 plus x and also the perimeter that means sum of all boundary sides uh, that is the sum of this all boundary side is also given here this boundary side is given here 100 so now according to question uh, breadth equals to x meter so length is 10 meter more than breadth we all know uh, formula of the perimeter is two times of length plus breadth this is length, this is breadth x plus x equal to twice x plus 10. This is our answer, perimeter of the rectangular garden. So now, second question, find the breadth of the garden. According to question, perimeter equal to 100. So perimeter equal to 2 times of twi uh, twice x plus 2 from question B. Uh, first, divide by this 2. This is the multiply here. If we convert this one, it will be divide. So dividing by 2, you will get here answer is 50. So now uh, we can change the color. I think red one is the best. Okay, uh, there is now uh, there is now ten is the positive number shifted to right side of equal. This one will be minus. So forty minus ten. This is the uh, sorry fifty minus ten. This is forty divide. This is to multiply here shifted to right side. This one will be divide. So now forty divided by two answer is twenty. That is the x is the breadth, that is breadth is 20, so length is 10 meter more, so x plus 10 means 20 plus 10, 30. So breadth equal to 20 meter, length equal to 30 meter, we all know area will be length, so breadth multiply length, so length multiply breadth, meter meter multiply square meter, so area is square meter. Now the cost per square meter. So the total cost is given here 2400 taka and the question requirement find the cost per square meter. We all know the basic formula finding the cost per square meter formula is total cost divided by area of the rectangle or rectangular garden. So total cost at all area is given here at all. So that means per square meter cost is 4 taka. So this is the answer. Uh, my dear students, uh, I hope you understood this question properly and the maximum student you have done well. Already we are observing your exam copy. So, uh, yes, if you have any questions, so please you can uh, do comments there. I will try to answer as far as you demand. And so, dear students, hope to see you all in the next classes. And so, wish you all the best and happy Eid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.